Hello, hello! I'm gonna give everyone a minute to arrive. Something's not telling me. Well, hopefully y'all can hear me, because it's not telling me if my sound's going through. It looks like it is. I assume it is. Alright, he's ready for Death Stranding. Norman Reedus and the Funky Fetus. <laughs> I like Beginning that. Scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Speaking of Toby, we wait for everyone to get All here. Will be locked until the All clear. Welcome, Welcome Sam Porter Bridges. Yeah, we got two star connection level with Toby. Hey, Miss Chin. Miss Han. You're back. I'm pronouncing that right. I assume it's back because of the artist. That he, he sings that was it the Lost Cause song. All right, where, what were we doing? I just take a minute to get my bearings. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, we got the film director now. Who's the collector? And let's see. Oh, we were building highways. That's right. Well, let's go back and see what we're doing with that. on this road. Let's find out where we are. <laughs> Almost heaven, West Virginia. I was just listening to that song. Take me home, country roads. That is too crazy. Alright, let's put a... Stretch my legs. Did I get my snacks and purple drink to game? <laughs> I see I told you guys the 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 terrible grape juice story. Well, I have my drink. I uh it is not purple. However, I think I am still recovering from that moment. There we go. Road construction area. How is this is not the road construction area? There we go. Still the generator there. So we're gonna go. I probably need everything, I assume. Metals. Everything. Yeah, we dumped everything off there. So we'll charge up the truck. Construction complete. I get well. What am I sick with? <laughs> All right, wait, wait. <laughs> it does. I believe it does. I've listened to, let's see, it was, I, God, I wish I could remember his name. He is a really small time violin YouTuber, but he really deserves more. Uh, he really deserves more accolades or attention or whatever, however you want to put it. Oh, goodness, I need everything. You have no materials. I have chiral crystals. Oh, the cow crystals are all but is done. Okay, so it needs tons of ceramics and metals. Well, I know what we're doing. <laughs> Stay away from that poison. Yeah, you never know. 
a sleeping man might arise lose his mind over me drinking the grape juice again. <laughs> Hi, Bender! Okay, I'm trying to- Oh, Edward Chang! That's the name of the violinist. Yeah, he has a, does a wonderful violin cover of Take Me Home Country Roads. And I have been listening to that way too much. Hollow Live. I'll check them out. I don't think I've heard of them. We're gonna trade this truck in a newer model. Can the truck rust anymore? It can rust so much that it becomes what is the word that I'm looking for? Uh unusable, I suppose. Irreparable irreparable. God. Whenever I stream my nose itches a lot, and then it's like gonna bother me. Still got it. Uh, BTs can't get us. We're on the highway. We're immune. off the, the highway. It hasn't happened yet. I'm just waiting for the day to, like, soar off of this. <laughs> Jan uh, Sam will probably- Oh! See? There it goes. Well, it was okay. The BT didn't get us either. We're mostly just building roads at the moment. And then we gotta make sure we make a delivery to the elder so he doesn't croak. Goodness. I think we're gonna wind up stitching this truck for a new truck. Yes, Sam, there are a lot of people watching. They're mocking you. Hey, Victoria! And no need to apologize. Whenever you feel like showing up is the right time. Okay. They're kind of come for me. Oh, they're gonna try. Alright. Ah! Oh man, look at that! There's like a whole bunch of Kyle crystals down there. Okay, I don't remember. I think the first one's ceramics. Oh. Well, it. You know what the truck can't do, Sam? It can't handle that. Oh boy. Ah! I got it! I was about to give up. It's like, well, I'm ditching this truck anyway. What do I think of this game so far? I like it. I actually do like it. Although I will warn you that the games I like to play privately and the games I play. Uh, that I like to stream are generally very different. Hey! Animania? Wow, 4am for you. That is some dedication. Thanks for coming. Okay. Wow. I see the mules are still asleep and they haven't replenished themselves. I've like... drained all their camps of resources. Hmm. You might have to... <laughs> Take a back seat. Oh, look, full again. 
Ceramics. William Lake. We're not going that way. Oh, load all of it onto the truck. Yeah. Goodness, we might have to cool our jets at the road building for a while. song coming from? Oh, bad song. That's it. Well, this is gonna be interesting. Yes, the cat does attack me and bites me, and yeah, he's pure evil. Oh, I was gonna switch this out for a new truck. Well, whatever. I guess that endeavor has been forgotten. Yeah, now our cat is completely and utterly psychotic. I will tell that story to anyone who is willing to listen. Our cat is, I don't even know. Almost ruined truck. <laughs> oh boy. Hold up. Let's get going. Oh god, I need to hit another rock. Or truck. Safe travels. Oh. This is the end. Where are we going? Back it up, back it up. This poor truck, look at it. Yeah, I gotta get another truck. Where do I get another truck, though? <laughs> the cat wants to make him a widow. Probably. That cat has been plotting my death since the day I adopted him. I just wanted a nice kitty to sit on my lap. And I got this psychopath. I will say one thing. He is, like, free entertainment. You don't need a television with him around. Right. Come on, truck. You can do it. I believe in you. Oh, God. It's smoking. Alright, hopefully they've got another truck up here we can use. Let's just, like, high tell them. Wait, no, we were just here. Ugh. All right, well, we'll go get that memory chip. Get a kitty that will favor me. Nah, it's not possible with Lasser around. There's something about him. Cats just, they're obsessed with go. him. I don't even know. We have, we lived with this, uh, wait, did you see a truck? Gotta be a truck around. Come on, where's the truck? We lived with the crazy old cat lady for a little while, and even her cats, all of her cats, went to Lasser. He's just, I don't know, something about him. Cats are just obsessed with him. This is where I think it would be if there was a truck. Oh, we better not get stranded out here without a truck. I would be very sad. It's the same with you and dogs. Dogs do tend to love me. But I'm a dog person. I think the cats just know I'm not, Why not? usually a cat person. I got a cat because they're easy and I wanted, I don't know, my cat and my dog to grow up together and be friends. And they are. <laughs> they are. Lasser give he does, but there's also just something else about him. They just come and sit on him. And Neko will come and sit on me sometimes. It's just then, you know, like, I'll be half asleep, and I'm not even touching him. He's sitting on me, and then he just starts biting me, because he doesn't want to be on me anymore. Instead of leaving, he attacks, because he's a psychopath. Where is that other meal? 
field camp. Oh, we're here. God, this poor truck. I'm so worried. I can't get another cat, by the way. I said get another kitty that favors me. That is not possible. Because this cat also hates other cats. I mean, he, I've never seen a creature that hates other his own kind so much before in my life. But Neko sure does. Okay, where's these mules? Oh. Uh, around here somewhere. <laughs> he is trying to smother me. That cat will be so happy the day I grow. Oh, I planned out. Alright. No. Oh, this poor truck. Look, <laughs> he's smoking now. What is the grape juice story? So, Lasser uh, talks in his sleep. <laughs> Yeah, and he'll even- he'll have entire conversations with you with his eyes open. Okay. He wants- wants his, uh, work called him. And, uh, he talked to them and had no recollection of it. Like, he's- I mean, you wouldn't know, but he will talk in his sleep. Zombie man. And normally, he'll have, like, conversations with you that seem normal, except for then randomly it'll be like there's a cow in the closet, and it's just, like, added in there in the most- <laughs> nonchalant way and you're just like wait what so the grape juice story the purple juice story one night i was on the computer which is in our bedroom and i i was just i had a glass of grape juice next to me and then it was like every 10 minutes he woke up and insisted that it was poison he tried to take it away he was asleep losing his mind so like now i'm scared to ever drink anything that's purple <laughs> if he's asleep because it went on all night. It was like, dude, calm it down. Go to bed. And he'd go to sleep. It would be like 10 minutes. And, oh, it's poison. He tried to slap it out of my hand. Oh, God, grape juice got everywhere. to clean it up. It's so bad. <laughs> but yeah, that's the, that's the grape juice insider scoop. Oh god, you, you had to take care of a second cat once, and your cat started peeing and pooping. Full charge. <laughs> I didn't just think about just tying him up. You know what? I might do that one time, I swear, if it happens again. <laughs> yeah, I used to be really- yeah, he does sleepwalk. He does. I used to be really worried that he'd wander off. <laughs> hey Shane! But I, he hasn't been that bad in years. It's some genetic thing. His whole family does it. I've stayed over there, and his little sister does it too. She's not as... she's not as bad. She just kind of like mumbles and stumbles around, whereas... Lasser, like, you won't... Like, it's... it, it seems like he is awake, and he will get up, and he will go do things. <laughs> uh, yeah. Oh god, now we got the time... Oh good, there's another truck! Okay, we're gonna transfer our stuff. Because our truck is about to kick the bucket here. There we go. Here's some more ceramics. Uh, this is going to be our last, uh, last trip for a little bit. Uh, there we go. Let's see. Can I just transfer from here? Yeah! There we go. Oh yeah, but w let's see, what other sleep lasting stories do I have? Um, when we first got together, we actually almost broke up because I didn't know he would sleep talk. And we got into this little small argument, like it wasn't anything. And then he went to bed and he gets back up. And he's just 
ra ranting and raging at me and I didn't know he was asleep. Yeah, that was interesting. Also, my mother-in-law called me up and was like, no, he, he does that. He's really asleep. He's not pulling your leg. Like, he was asleep. Like, it was like the most nonsensical argument. And I was like, what's wrong with this guy? He's psycho. <laughs> Just, yeah, it was, uh... He likes that story for some reason. I'm like, oh, is this that could have been a very sad story, but it worked out. <laughs> but yeah, no, it was... No, don't, no, I need... Ah, I didn't bring the pear spray. Now all my containers are damaged. Does he remember anything? No, he has absolutely no recollection. No recollection at all. Like, he is genuinely asleep. Eyes open. Yeah, I never saw anything like it before. <laughs> And now it's just like, oh, right, okay. I like he'll wake me up. There's a magic carpet. There's a cow in the bedroom. It's gonna get us. And I don't know why, but it's always a cow. Like, why is it always a cow? Oh, here we go. Put all that under the truck. Ah, fine. Wait, did it put anything? This is in the post box. What happened to the ceramics? Well, there were ceramics. Does he still sleep talk? Every once in a while, yeah. It hasn't been bad. Uh, actually, it hasn't been bad since we moved out to the middle of nowhere. I Sometimes I think it was like the neighbors would like slightly wake him up because they're noisy. But I don't know. <laughs> I, I don't. I'm just glad I'm not, I'm not uh, so worried about him wandering off anymore. Like I, I, I used to really worry about it because it was a concern. Where is... Yeah, what happened to the ceramics? It said the excess will be offloaded and then it just disappeared. Alrighty. Can I get up onto the truck and spray this stuff? There we go, get onto the truck. Into the back of the truck. from the murderous cow. <laughs> Maybe you'll get some insight I haven't. <laughs> there is a cow that haunts his dreams. I don't know. <laughs> but yeah, it's it's interesting. I've got some stories. <laughs> ah, there we go. Let's go to this post box. Oh right, we're probably done. The truck is full. Smaller parts around. Boots, smoke grenade. Wow, yeah, no, I picked this place clean. Well, this will be our last haul for a little while. I think our roads are sufficiently built. We'll get back to the deliveries. I need to get back to the road. Hello! Oh, I was trying to like this bridge. They do like it. I got a light from the local porter. On to the highway we go. How much does anybody hear me? I'm trying to light the sign. Guys, we're good that you and Lassa moved to a ranch or a farm. You never know. Maybe the cows in real life will protect him from the other cow. A good day. Like the sign. Keep on keeping on. Welcome back, Georgia. Or 
if I'm pronouncing that right because it's spelled slightly different. GTA. Yes, thank you! He never tells me what the schedule is, and I'm, like, supposed to magically know. Oh my goodness, yeah, this is not even close. Look at all that. Georgia is referring to the uh, state. There is a Georgia country too, isn't there? Pardon my geographical ignorance. <laughs> Shay, what's the awful driving past farms and seeing classic kids <laughs> Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, it's just, I'm actually right there with you. Like, I forget it every time. And then I have to wake Lasser up. What's the schedule tomorrow? And I don't even know. He doesn't probably doesn't remember me asking. <laughs> What's the stream? I need to post it before I go to bed. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Decontaminating soon. All clear. Welcome. Okay, dokey. Well, we are done for now with the road building endeavors. What deliveries do you have for me, game? I've got like a ton of bola guns from all my mule adventures. Alright, thanks for coming, Tori. See you next time. Okay, first we're gonna recycle all the crap we don't need. Wait, why do we have two boots on the clip? Recycle that. Oh, this bullet gun's heavily damaged and a level one. So we're gonna not bother with it. Okay. The last of any other quirks that can embarrass you. <laughs> uh. No, and actually, he's not embarrassed about the sleepwalking thing. Like I said, it's everyone in his family. It's, yeah. My sister-in-law is apparently just as bad as he is. Uh, she wakes her husband up all the time, claiming that there's spiders everywhere, and there's no spider. <laughs> uh, edible plants. Okay, we gotta deliver that to the elder. I guess we could swing back to Lake Knot City. Oh, wait, wait, wait. This one, we want to cancel it because we want to do the select premium delivery. And... I don't know, are we going all that way? How much cargo is it? Eh, we're not gonna go all that way. No! I said cancel this order. We're not going that direction. Oh, I need to make him- get him to make a schedule command? Alright, I'll tell him. Although, I don't know if that works. If he, he does change it. I know he changes it. Fully manufactured one. We've got PCC. Are we even gonna need a ladder? Or an anchor? Just in case, I guess. Yeah, I'm not gonna even make... I 
like that trick. We're gonna use that trick. Load it on up. Oh boy. Thank you for your I think the high level structures will stay up after a couple a couple real time years of not playing Destrian. I don't know. You know, I actually should be able to answer that, or I would have been able to if I had my save, but it got lost. I think I have an earlier one. I don't know if it's early and I don't know if it, the, I had the highways completed though, so I couldn't check. But I imagine they do. I think they it goes by in-game time. Simply because we went back to the mule camps, right? And they were all still unconscious, asleep, whatever. In the right direction. No, we are not. Wait. Oh, well, sort of. This is the this is to the craftsman, if I'm not mistaken. I think we go back this way. Beginning scan. Scanning bridges ID. Verifying ID. Clear. We need to link to it. Yes, that would be nice. I'm right there with Welcome. you, General. I'm trying Welcome to get him to do it too, just so I know. <laughs> it's how be that be the night before the stream. You're like, what stream am I posting? I don't know. So sometimes I guess, and every once in a while. <laughs> ah! way to go up and around so we don't have to go climbing. We gotta make sure we get the Elder to five stars. We don't deliver to him, like, constantly. He, uh... Well, bad things happen. He dies. And then we're gonna go and do the Order for Sam. It's been too long since we did an Order for Sam. Reading chat. I knew you were gonna watch the Neo walkthrough a year ago. Uh, that's actually my husband. <laughs> oh, I assume you know that. There should be a difference in our voice. Am I from Canada? No, I'm from everywhere, actually. Though I did spend some time in Canada. I am from holy crap everywhere. Probably be slower to see. I am from. New York, the Midwest, Florida, Deep South, Alaska, I spent a lot of time in Alaska, uh, <laughs> uh, oh god, I don't even know. I've lived everywhere. Uh, North Carolina, where else have I lived? Oh, I spent some time in Canada, not much, though. I was trying to immigrate there when I was 18. <laughs> yeah. Didn't work out. They were like, go away. You get to stay here for six months. Um, let's see. Where else have I lived? You know, two different places in the Deep South. Everywhere. Aww. I think we gonna make it. I think maybe we should go even further down and around. <clears throat> oh, slowly. Oh, you live in Canada? That's cool. One thing I remember about Canada the most was it was so similar to the United States that aside from Tim Hortons, I pretty much thought I. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I felt like I was in the United States. But yes, they had Tim Hortons. Yes, got a cup of coffee at Tim Hortons. I did get rejected. <laughs> it worked out. I met Lasser in the States. Aw, oh, they, they, they sent you away, Miss Chin. Yeah, it is hard. You have to have a skill or something to show that you're not gonna be, you know, 
a mooch on their society, which I get. There we go. You having a hard time? You don't know if you want to get this game? Well, it just depends on what kind of game you like. Like, this is a very peaceful, at relaxing game most of the time, even though I'm, like, always screaming at the needles. Um... Okay, I bet we can go up and around this way. It just depends. It has a really interesting story, but it has a lot of, you know, extra stuff in between. And I know that can drive people crazy. Side questing and all that. There are Tim Hortons in the US? I did not know that. I was told by my Canadian host that it was exclusive to Canada. Oh, you're from uh, South Carolina? Uh, I don't mind you asking. I don't live there anymore. I was living in, I want to say Winston, it was living in Winston-Salem at the time. The calamari was not peaceful. <laughs> yes, the calamari boss was not peaceful. He was a dude. Tim Horton sucks. <laughs> hey, no, I was actually with you. I, I didn't get what all the hype was about either. Is it Tim Horton's a Dr. Seuss character? I have no idea. And now I can't even drink coffee, so I don't care at all. Miss Virginia, in Ohio. I've driven through Ohio. I've n I don't know if I stopped, although I've lived in the Midwest, so in my experience, the Midwest is just the Midwest. <laughs> Myrtle Beach. I actually, I supposedly, I think I might have relatives there. I don't know. I don't really know my the people that I am related to. I've been to Charlotte and Raleigh. I think I went to Raleigh once. Thanks for dropping by again. It's always good to see you. Let's see how's the package. Wow, this is great. Excellent job. Thank you. Yay, we got Gold Star. Legend, legend, oh. legend. Ooh, we got a trophy. And new interview data. I want to check the trophy. What is the trophy? Reach a total of 50,000 likes. That's what it says, even though my... There we go. Okay, right, where'd it go? Alright, uh, well, there it goes. <laughs> You don't know what or who Tim Hortons is? It's a coffee place chain that people seem to really love. Where in Cal- I will not tell you where in California I live. <laughs> Other than it's very rural where I live. Holy crap, we pleased someone else 24,358 times. Alright, we're gonna skip through this because it's gonna go forever otherwise. We are now an expert transporter. Yay! We get more likes. Here, I have something for you. It isn't much, but if you want it, it's all yours. Elder wishes to express his gratitude. Yeah. Well, I guess I'll take it and recycle it. Until next time. Yes, the tree did try to kill shinies. <laughs> you have an ex trucky California. You have an ex friend who's a trucky in California. And yes, California has a lot of rural areas. I live in a very, very. This is going to the engineer rural area. Prize vintage wine also going to there. Handmade pickles. Early days of the death stranding. I don't know. Maybe we'll bring get these. Can I carry them all though? Handmade pickles. I could get this. Oh, ah, this. a supply request. Up for taking care of it? 
Thanks, Sam. And we could use more people like you. Oh, in Truckee, California. I thought you meant like a trucker. Sorry, we actually have a friend who's a trucker. Probably why my brain went there. Uh, I don't know where that is either. <laughs> There's a lot of really rural areas in California. Um, many other players have the equipment delivered these. Oh, sorry. I'm supposed to read that out loud. Once delivered, these items will be provided to the player who made the request. So, someone, a player, made this request. Smart emitting decoy cargo. Maybe. Yeah, no idea where Trucky is. Um, let's see. That's gonna be 36 kilograms. Anything else going that direction? Oh, we'll grab that. And what about the engineer? 3.6? We can do that. Ooh, can we do with less, like, no damage? Smark, that smoke emitting cargo. Alright, we'll grab that too. What about the bonsai trees? Too much weight. Yeah, I don't think we could handle that. Oh, collection of photos, maybe? Think I could handle that? <laughs> oh yeah, too much, too much. Cancel that order. Alright, this is all we can handle. <clears throat> Yeah, we spent some time living in the cities, various cities in California. Not a big fan. Although I did, even though we lived in a pretty bad area, I did kind of like Oakland. It had, it had some life to it. <laughs> you know, that a lot of the other places lack. My, definitely my favorite is the rural California. Middle of nowhere. Our neighbor's a mountain lion. One day she might eat us. <laughs> like literally, there's a mountain lion that lives with us. <laughs> I don't know how else to put that. <laughs> I see her walking down, I saw her walking down the road with a cub once. And it's like, oh, that's that's great. She's got a baby. She won't rip my face off if I accidentally veer too close or anything. Great to know. Still got it. Only 35 minutes from Reno. Oh, I actually know where that is then. <laughs> there is a lot of there are a lot of little rural towns around there. Doesn't it have babies? Yes, the mountain lion does have babies. Okay, I need to actually pay attention. Where are we? No. How did I get up? Okay, maybe it'll show me on the map, right? How did we get up to the Elder? Alright, we went this way. Show me my stupid path. Okay, and then I climbed down? Alright, I guess I came down this way. Or up this way. Let's hope it is not an eventful descent. Whoa, it's gonna be an eventful descent. Oh God, and I've got these fragile boxes of wine. Why are you doing wheelies, Sam? Hey, what are you doing? I tell it to go one way and it's not going that way. Very slow. Oh. Oh. Everything's okay still. We made it. No, no, no. Oh, you and this stupid bite, Sam. I swear to God. Ow! Goodness. How does my stuff not getting damaged? Oh, good night, Slammer. <laughs> Famous last words. Okie dokie. Where are we going? We're going this away. here. 
Thank God, because I need to deliver his box of freaking wine before I smash it into something. <clears throat> Grab this lost cargo. We're going there anyway. That's not bad. We can get through that. Whew. We made it! Our cargo's in one piece. I forget about that. So you walk in and it'll like the top of it will get cliffed. series saw a mountain lion that could jump scale 15 foot rock face in a couple seconds yeah that's a mountain lion for you they are terrifying they really are scary creatures that will probably one day murder us all <laughs> now we're almost at five stars with the engineer All right, we got new likes for new delivery rods. Well, be safe out there. Good work. New order. Okay, let us rearrange this cargo. Oh, I thought it needed to be arranged. Well, never mind. Available. Please access delivery. Is there an order for where we're going? To the elder to the craftsman. I think we're going there, and we're going to Lake Knot. Ooh, that's too heavy, though. We're going there. We can grab that. We'll grab some high-performance underwear, too, while we're at it. Wait, that's too much? No. Well, I guess that's too much. It says it's too much. Has a mountain lion ever met a murderous cat, though? Yes! And, uh... General's right. It, he did take off. <laughs> he escaped! He was like, And I'm good! I'm out! Order I can't take this on. I will lose. He actually so showed some sense for once in his life. He didn't attack it. He ran. <laughs> See you again soon. And hey, Madison! Welcome to the stream. Let us go this way. High performance underwear could be heavy. I guess so. Hit the balance. Could not. Oh, God! Well, thankfully, we didn't have the wine on us when I did that, because that would have broken it. Madison, welcome back! What can't you do? Whoa, whoa, whoa! Fly off this thing. Yeah, you're going to Purdue, right? If I recall. It's digit school, by the way, so good on you. Let's see. Is it prestigious or prestigious? I don't know. <laughs> DV is enjoying the ride. He loves going fast. Someone's out there. Hi, guys. <laughs> I guess I spooked them. Suckers, why are you on foot? Are right, you still doing class in person? This guy's nice. Welcome, Sam Porter Bridges. Okay. Oh, am I too close to this thing? But oh, Devil 
dad didn't want to be now because he did not. <laughs> hey, how's it going? The legend does it again. Everything looks to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Sam. Ripen at you, you used to have to feed your cat with pills. Oh, yeah, you have to force feed at them. Oh, good lord. I couldn't imagine if I had to get that cat to take a pill. I think I told you guys before, but he attacked a pack of raccoons once and lost badly. <laughs> and I had to, he had to have surgery and all this other stuff. And uh, thankfully, all the medications they gave him were liquid or injections. Whoa, that was fast. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Ooh, well, we're going to be trading with quarters. Please access. Thank you, Khan. I will definitely be doing that. Let's see. We're going to the craftsman. Yeah, okay. We'll grab this. Anything else? And then I guess we'll grab that. Oh, yeah. Especially if it's a... Uh... Oh, wait. No. Cancel. Wait. No. I didn't mean to do that. I meant to do the premium delivery. Oh well. I need this. I'm not heading out yet. I'm getting another one. Order assigned. Standard. Okay, here's the ceramics. Ah, it's too heavy? Come on. No, it's not going to let me do it. Oh, I should have done the ceramics. Blast. Now I'm sad because that would have helped us their grow. And hey, Tatsumi! Welcome to the stream. <laughs> yeah, the weather I lived for years in Illinois, so I know what you mean. Although the side of the mountain we live on now is extremely temperamental. Thanks for the help. Today's a good day. Ooh. Thanks for the help. give him something in return. I thought I was supposed to carry in hand. Huh? Huh? How do I offer it to him? There. It's for you. Oh, I guess I'm trying to give him his thing back. Well, I don't know. Now I feel rude. ramming into things. When a tornado goes through, there's a saying that Indiana Rez is on the porch with the beer to watch it. Yeah. My grandfather did that with me, actually, a couple times. Uh, I remember this one. I remember my grandmother wound up screaming and dragging me back into the basement, but we were there and I watched the neighbor's, like, garage get taken away. <laughs> That's so cool. It was very cool. What part of Illinois? Uh, Near Chicago, about 30 minutes outside of it. Joliet. You know it. Good old Joliet. The blues song about the prison there. <laughs> probably the highlight of that place. Although I hear it's, it's probably all built up now. It's mostly just fields and cows. When I was there.
maybe a craftsman will have it for us. Oh, you're in Springfield. I know where that is. At least I think I do. That's where I'm thinking. I'm pretty sure. It's not that far. Regardless of when's that pull, I'm probably gonna buy it. Okay, let's put it in the private locker then. Wait, what did I put in there? I thought I put custom medicine. No, the PCC comes with me. Seeing you in action gives me hope. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. Okay, I want... Come on. Aw, really? No ceramics for me. Model weapons. Alright, we're gonna do one more then, so I get that ceramics order. Are they both premium? Good. Both premium. Bender, you've broken your ribs every year for the last three busting your ass. How? What are you doing? <laughs> like, I thought I was crazy. I'd go all around the place. I'd go hiking. I do all sorts of things that I think only kids do because they're only crazy enough. And I have only, God, broken a bone once in my life, and I have thin bones. Apparently getting back on the road. No. Oh. oh my god. Okay. What do I do? What do I do? Put my car here down and maybe try to get him back onto the highway. <laughs> I've done a dumb. I did join the group hug, guys, and then bad things happened to me. <laughs> okay. Get back there. Come on. Why is it doing this? No! Oh! Well, I didn't have my cargo. Oh, what did I damage? I damaged something. Resin's high density. Ah! That's it. Okay, good. Whatever. How did I- how on earth did I do this? I don't know, Anubis. I have a talent. <laughs> I 
I don't know. I got it like in this little groove on the edge and it would not get back onto the highway. I did not have to redeploy my cargo though. I was trying to read the, the stories. <laughs> oh man. It did defy physics, Khan, but we're we're not gonna we're not gonna mention that in the video game gods that be, because then they might they might take away my win, you know? <laughs> my win of not slamming into things. Breaking. Now let's just let it go. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Good work. Let's see. I want ceramics. Give me those ceramics. Sleeping tablets to the elder. Ugh. Cancel that order. Make sure it's premium. There we go. Oh, well, I can't carry it anyway. It's too much. Yeah. Alright, all we're gonna do take is ceramics. Yeah, Bender, I don't know. Oh, God. Well, I'm gonna have to recycle some stuff, it looks like. Order assigned. Okay, I don't wanna do that. Oh, well, let's recycle the resin, for starters. Whatever. I guess we have resin and excess. But we always have resin and excess, so who cares? Thank you for your contribution. There we go. Now we can load it all up. Crazy. 
Taking a car, or you mean a truck? Yes, probably. I should not be allowed to drive this bike. It goes too fast, and we'll like take off flying over something at some point. This one's for you. Hold back the analog stick, okay. Can I go flying next time? It's Aaron's fault. <laughs> That's probably how you get the. Everything alright there? Wow. I bet your body's aching after carrying all that. Yay! Perfect condition! And good, we got some... Oh wow, we unlocked a bunch of colors, a bunch more ceramics. Oh, let's go finish the next section of that bridge now. Alright, skip, skip, skip. No one cares. Well, take care of yourself. Good work. New order available. Well, let's Please. see. Let us claim materials. Crystals, resins, ceramics. Let's see. No metals. I bet. Let's do metals and. Well, I guess if we have excess ceramics, I can always come back, but. I don't remember how much that thing needs. Okay. 
get on the bike. And we're gonna do a wheelie after I deliver these pregnant We'll do wheelies. Go, Sam, go! said hello dead people like Jack or <laughs> Ah Need the structure menu. Okay, what do you need? Oh god, you need so much ceramics it's not even funny. I really grossly underestimated the ceramics. It needs another thousand ceramics. Yeah, we don't have that. Well maybe we can get the metals at least. What is this? Why is this different? Well, well, that'll be only 20 over, but still. There we go. No. We need a thousand more ceramics. Oh! Well, good thing we did that delivery. It's gonna help. last stream, but in one of the Mule's Pulse boxes, did it hold cargo for masterpieces? It might have, but usually they have lost cargo and things in them. They might have. Is there a trophy related to these masterpieces? <laughs> okay, come on, do your wheelie. Ah, I did, I started the wheelie. <laughs> Just do wheelies inside. Okay, I also need to trade still with the porter. I don't know how to do that. Oh crap! I close. <laughs> he actually tells me about that because he missed something. Chad didn't tell me. <laughs> All right, let's see. Uh, recycle. I thought I had metals. There we go. Cycle the metals. <laughs> you thought they took a truck to a cycle so they're delivering art masterpieces. It might have. There's a... Um, well, the, not the truck part being related, but there is... Uh, what is he called? The film director? We went and brought him something i don't know there's all sorts of for like lost cargo i think that's what you're talking about and you'll find a lot of them in the post the uh, mule post boxes and um where was i going with this but yeah they unlock different porters and things <laughs> shiny's if you're after eating this chat remember me as a hero okay let's see we have to Deliver it with less than 50% damage. It's a Corellium gauge delivery to the weather station. Alright. Let's listen to the briefing. Your objective is to head to the bridge's weather station and connect your cupid. You'll also need to install a Corellium gauge. The gauge will measure fluctuations in chiral density much more precisely. We'll be able to provide more accurate forecasts for timefall and other phenomena. Timefall and elevated Chirelium levels have a strong correlation with BT activity. So, installing this gauge will help us to help you and others like you. This gauge is reminding you to check your mail. <laughs> I can relate to that. I'm terrible about checking my mail. And then it gets rained on and then it gets wet. <laughs> I'm gonna try with the hair dryer. Take the Corellium gauge from the distribution center south of Lake Knot City to the weather station and connect the station to the chiral network. I thought we already did that. The gauge will help the weather station to detect fluctuations in chiral density, allowing timefall showers and BT appearances to be predicted with greater accuracy. Okay. 
see, I have a climbing anchor. What about... Hematic grenades. I got hematic grenades. I have like a bunch of custom hematic grenades. We're good. Load it up. And I have, yeah, I've got custom hematic grenades. Container repair spray. Wait, how many grenades? Ooh, I think I put too many. Ugh. Yeah, I need to get hematic grenades. Thank you for your contribution. Fabricate. One more hematic grenade. Shrine is, is kind of the master of games, though, I will say that. We used to play MMOs together, and it was ridiculous how he just trounced me. God, I. As soon as he, we reached uh, end game, I didn't have a hope of fighting him. Ah, uh, you guys are reminding me I need to go get my booster. I'm so sad about that. Actually, I have to talk to my doctor first. Ah, because I got really horribly sick for like over a month or so. The second shot. You're gonna Popeye. You're gonna pose the barrel like Popeye, Shane. Oh, that's too good. Send us pictures. Eat all the spinach. Oh, wait. Oh, the weather station. I don't, I'm thinking of the wind farm. That's what I'm mixing it up with. Walking pneumonia when I got the boost. <laughs> or the second shot, I was like, oh god. <laughs> I'm just like hiding from the world. I don't want to get the shot again, but yeah, you seeing shots are hard. I feel you on that one. Okay, where am I going? Up there. Oh, this is gonna be fun. I think we're walking. <laughs> Sorry, bike. Uh, you're probably gonna get ditched. Whoa, whoa. All right. <laughs> Three likes for Vivi for not falling on her ass. Thank you, Toby. Yes, we're going to the golf ball. Oh boy, BTs. I came prepared. I am prepared to face the mighty BT. I guess we're just gonna return this here or whatever. Fuck this. <laughs> Sam. Just please. I understand too, Sam. <laughs> Successfully managed to avoid BTs for a while. I see that is not going to last. Well, they don't seem to be around here. Ooh, I How many carol crystals do we have? 1100, not bad. Remember to keep my eye out. Good God. Oh. Custom Matic Grenade. There's a 
pregnant, DC. Oh. I don't know, I think that one's just fat. I don't hear a baby crying. It's right there. It's a little baby. That was a pregnant one. Sorry, Sam. It's probably unpleasant choking on your own blood. Let's rearrange this cargo. Babies are very sad. I agree. I would be a lot sadder about it if they weren't trying to kill me. Also use bullet guns.
Were there this many babies in the original? No, there are barely any. In fact, I don't remember seeing them until after we met Mama. Like, we're not even close to it. Hey, Mana, yesterday your whole life has become COVID. Other than that, life's okay. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. You're okay. Oh, God, I. Oh, deep water. I'm sad. I'm just trying to like it. That was a little rough. golf ball is open. I don't remember ever seeing the golf ball open. It was just a big golf ball. Making food runs for tons of people. Well, I hope you don't get it. It seems like everyone's getting this Omicron crap. Like everyone at Lasser's work has it. Hospitals are flooded. I have a friend who's a nurse and he's been telling me how horrible it is and I'm like, oh god. Well, thank you for showing up for work anyway. just unlocked a Havoc Soldier on uh, the Mass Effect multiplayer. It's this Turian with rocket thrusters. <laughs> that is way too much fun to play. <clears throat> well, that's fun. And who says it's the most contagious of all of them? I will be staying here. In the mountains. Not interacting with anyone. Delivering cargo. Hello. Sam Bridges, right? We've been expecting you. The gauge you brought is going to save a lot of lives. Let me do a quick inspection. Oh. Wonderful. It's in perfect condition. Thank you. Special alloys can now or alloys can now be used at all UCA affiliated facilities. The amount of materials that can be used at the weather station has increased. Special alloys. I don't remember using that for anything. I'll just have to see. <coughs> Yay, we got likes for doing things. Once you connect us to the network, we'll be able to share our measurements with everyone. You mind doing the honors? Yeah, I was supposed to get the booster when it first came out. It's not supposed to be the booster, it's supposed to be the third vaccine, because I'm a high risk, and I'm falling. I'm scared. I want to do it again. Chinese game kill like that. I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, where are we? Yeah, we're going west. Closer to the west. PCC level 2. And a floating carrier. And we have new interview data. And a timefall shelter. And we can build safe houses. And we can see the weather forecast in our cufflinks. 
I'm sure they told you, but this weather station was built before the Death Stranding. Bridges 1 came and fixed it up. Unfortunately, we lost contact with our weather satellites a while back. Interference from chiral clouds. So it's been tough to measure chirelium levels and predict timefall. But thanks to you, this weather station can finally function as intended. You made our jobs easier. Now let us do the same for you. We won't let you down, I promise. Take care. I see you got the weather station back online. Excellent work, Sam. When a region is integrated into the chiral network, it's also brought closer to the beach, in a manner of speaking. There's a significant impact on Kyrelian levels, and measuring that impact is one of the Cupid's primary functions. The more we know, the more accurately we can determine where to expect timefall and when. Without the chiral network, we'd be left guessing. Oh, and thanks to your latest accomplishment, you can now review the weather forecast via your couplings. Check your map. You'll see. Ought to come in handy when you're planning routes. I'll keep an eye on the chiral density from right here in my lab. It's not too far from South Knot City. Keep processing those orders and you'll put that region on the grid soon enough. Good luck, Sam. Good work, Sam. That's one more site on the grid. Keep it up and we'll be finished before you know it. The weather station's forecast should be visible to everyone on the chiral network now. Yourself included. You can access them via your cufflinks. It could be useful when plotting your routes. Good work. Alright, let's see. Make a delivery. We're gonna deliver the lost cargo. Because we're not going to those places. Alright, skip that. Yay! Um, let's see. Let's recycle the hematic grenades. Container repair supply, blood pouch. Let's see, I think I have a building order. Yes I do, construction of a safe house. You're doing a great job, Sam. You've helped us expand the chiral network deep into the mountains. But our colleagues at the weather station still have it rough. And you know as well as anyone how treacherous the roads up there can get. They may be networked now, but they still need regular supply runs to survive. We'd like you to build a safe house nearby for other porters handling deliveries. There's a perfect spot about halfway up the mountain I've designated as the building site. If it turns out there isn't enough there for our needs after all, you'll have to come up with the rest on your own. Alrighty. Well, we're gonna get PCC, floating carrier, and Aloys. Wait, is it going to make me use other stuff? We've added a timefall shelter option to your PCC. They're perfect for keeping you and your cargo dry until the weather improves. Yeah, I used to actually stay in those timefall shelters. I don't know, maybe they changed it. Congratulations, Sam. Your PCC's leveled up, so to speak. It now has the capacity to produce more complex structures. I'll let Mama fill you in on the details. Sam, I've added a safe house schematic to your PCC. It's a fairly large structure, so it'll take a lot of time and materials to build. But once complete, it's pretty much identical to a private room. Give it a shot. All right, that's what we're doing. And they should give us the materials. A floating carrier is a kind of tractor car. Chiral crystals keep it suspended in midair, allowing it to move unimpeded over rough terrain. You can load one up with cargo and tow it to your destination with minimal effort. If one's not enough for your needs, you can hook it up to another and take two. Just keep in mind that carriers require a steady supply of chiral crystals to operate. Make sure you have enough to get where you need to go. Yep, yeah, this is Mama. All right, we're gonna... I guess we're gonna carry it on our back for now. Oh no, we're gonna, uh... Uh... 
offload you and then put everything on to that. Load onto carrier. There we go. How about special alloys? Also load onto carrier. if you don't remember the way. I'll contact you with additional instructions once you get close. And how can I not know? Ugh. Wait, why is my blood low? Oh, my blood's low! Because I... ran out of blood bags apparently. Keep that in mind. further off of where I left off. <laughs> Everything Kojima does is kind of kinky. You know, I don't know him. Oh, wait. I didn't talk about All right. Him. You've made it. Let's get that safe house built. You get to go, Sam? First, equip your PCC and select safe house. I will do that. I would like to detach the carrier so that it's not eating up power crystals. Okay, doke, we are gonna go build a safe house. Yeah, once you get the zip lines up, you don't really use a lot of this stuff. Even the highways become borderline obsolete. And I say borderline because even they're not really up ever obsolete. Ooh. Well, while we wait for that build, the printers of the future, we grab Kyle Crystals. Sam, you'll want to get those materials over to the safe house sooner rather than later. I'm doing it, woman. Right now, what do you think I'm doing? <laughs> Zip lines are fun. I remember what was I before when I was having some problems. I had problems with the uh, too many, not enough bandwidth or something. I was making them, so I was gonna have to go through and tear down a bunch of structures. Being a little more mindful of what I build and where I build it <laughs> now. Yay! It's building us a house. I didn't even know we were going to be ranked on that. Thank you, Sam. This safe house will be a boon to countless others in the long run. I'm not just talking about the porters who will use it as a stopover on the way to the weather station, but the people they help and the people they help. We're all connected to someone else, Sam. But you'll have the honor of being the first person to rest there. Okay, well, we're gonna go take a nap in our newly built safe house. Your work is great. Yes, trucks and highways are awesome. You can do so many deliveries. And complete other highways. Alright, let's skip that. We know what he looks like when he sleeps. We'll do a quick check on Toby, and then we'll go back. I want to change this pod color. Oh.
Okay, that wasn't creepy or anything. Customize BB Pine. What color do we want it to be? We unlocked a bunch more colors. Holy crap. Oh, let's do blue. I like blue. Eh. Still kind of gaudy, though. Let's do whatever that is. Express purple. Oh, wait. I don't want to do that. There we go. Toby looks like Iron Man with that yellow amniotic fluid and red case. <laughs> You build a house whenever it started to rain. Yeah, I would do if it was that or deal with the freaking BTs. I know exactly what I'd be doing. Oh, good, another data chip. Toby, Tony. Yeah, I can see this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Another memory chip. Check these out. Next time we. I guess we can just over here, huh? Crystals. Since we're gonna be using crystals constantly now. It is kind of strange that they introduced highways before this, uh. little, uh. Carrier thing. Don't mind me. I'm trying to light. Alright, well, I did my best. Two bots. It looks like Russian, too. The Russian bots are taking over. It's happening, guys. Russia has officially made AI, and they're gonna overtake the world like a death. <laughs> uh, the first one was it fun. Delivering cargo. Thank you for coming. You really are incredible. I don't know how you do it. Yay, okay. What materials do you well, good luck to you, and take care of yourself. See, that's the real question. What materials does this guy have? Because guess what we're gonna be doing? Oh, he's got orders for Sam. What orders for Sam do you have? Timefall Farm, and the Distribution Center south of Lake Knot City. Okay, we are probably going back there. Um, hmm. Let's share the memory chip data. Oh, five memory chips! Wow. It's been a little while to turn those in, hasn't it? Pizza time! Yeah, we could do that. You picked this up for me? You shouldn't have. Really. <laughs> well, well, would you look at this? Thank you so much, Sam. Thank you kindly, Sam. I'll treasure it. That's sweet of you, Sam. Oh, wow. We got all, all the following data can have be reviewed from your cufflinks. Frame, arms, Genbu, Christine, and Unknown Manager's Journal, Part 1, Eggshell Carving, and Honda something or other. Holy crap! Well, we'll be checking all that out at the Thank end of the video. You, you found a pizza soft you, sauce you can have. I made of zucchinis and carrots. Oh my god, do share. That sounds really good, actually. Oh, so Resins and ceramics. We could bring that there, but. Or 20th century cars. I want to do both, actually. Can I also claim materials? What do they have here? How about ceramics? Ah, they don't have enough ceramics to make it matter. Alright. Like premium delivery and 20th century cars. Like premium delivery. Uh, 
Christmas gifts for last month. Yeah. Okay, wait, hold on. Okay, hold on. I need... Where is it? My floating carrier. Offload. Now put all of this crap there. It's gonna have me deliver resin? Seriously? Like, no one wants or needs resin. Everyone has resin. No one needs resin. resin. But, the ceramics- oh wait, we also forgot. Forgot some essentials, whoopsies. <laughs> that would have been bad. We need... Hematic grenades. Oh, I didn't complete that smoke grenade thing, did I? Couple blood bags and some container repair spray. Hear me? Hear me? Hear me? Oh, someone was right there. Okay, this isn't gonna screw up my cargo, is it? If I recall properly, if I'm on a rope, it's like magically not gonna get hurt. Cufflinks. Should come in handy when you're on the road. Well, whatever. Oh, I used to love zucchini bread medicine. Every time I stream, I wind up getting hungry because they're talking about good food. <laughs> uh, oh, oh, whoa. Hopefully, I didn't. I didn't damage anything, yeah. This this thing is like, it's on very hard, but I think the director's cut's easier, or they change some stuff, because I remember I would do the slightest things, and my cargo would blink red, and then I'd get all mad. Zucchini stew mission, that sounds interesting. I used to make zucchini lasagna. Actually, now that does sound good, maybe I will make it. But I guess, yeah, if you can't have tomatoes, that wouldn't go too well. You know what's really good is carrot ginger soup, and it makes your stomach very happy. This is nice. Thanks for the help. Okay, where are we going? We're going this way, right? Yep, we are going this way. Huzzah! We're going the right way. Food is your love language, more like my soul <laughs> language. <laughs> hey, good soul co- oh, good soul cooking. Alright, that should be something said to that. Soul music, soul cooking, that homemade stuff. You know what I made tonight? I made chicken curry. There we go. Uh, it's a chicken cabbage curry. Basically, I just throw uh, coconut milk, curry paste, some curry spices, chicken, onions, Carrots and lots and lots of cabbage in the pot. Here we go. 
Hey, BTs. <laughs> there you go, to bring the drinks. Hey, I'm down. I haven't seen civilization and other people in so long. I'd love to have a dinner party. All are inspiring me to start cooking again. Well, I cook all the time. It's just been since we've been so sequestered out here, we've been relying more on frozen stuff. So we don't have to go to the store. Plus, our car keeps breaking down. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, I should probably. Stop. Hi, pregnant one. <laughs> Bulligan's almost ruined. Whatever. I don't care. Are we fat shaming BTs now? <laughs> no, it's kind of like when you go fishing, you know, and you get a big fish. <laughs> okay, that's me anyway. You're not a fan of sweet lines, Miss Chin? I I love sweet stuff. I, I I'm not sure it was a sweet wine in general. I don't know what other sweet wines other than plum wine are, but plum wine is amazing. Oh crap. Your smile my stuff's okay. Yeah.
Yeah, something's trying to kill me. All bets are off. I am not nice. Niceness ends with uh, homicidal intent. <laughs> You've got a life mission to track down plum wine and mead. You've never tasted plum wine. Yeah, it's hard to find if you haven't. There's a Kenson plum wine that Safeway sells, but according to Lazar, it's not the best plum wine there is, so. And even that, to me, was, it has a weird aftertaste. I've only ever had it once that was really good, and I suffered because it was too sweet, <laughs> but it's kind of worth the suffering in a sense. Okay, we're just going down here, because I can't find it. <laughs> and then my gear is getting sad. And mead. I've never tried mead either, but is that like beer? I tried beer once, well, before I was diagnosed with celiac, obviously. And it was disgusting. It was like a tire. It was like drinking rubber tire something. It was so gross. Never again. In this game, doesn't the USA use the metric system? I don't know. That would be nice if we converted. Does the metric system actually make sense? <laughs> you tried to make illegal wide your door, Madison? That's actually that's kinda cool. <laughs> I've been over there hanging out. Drunk Lester, what does he like? God, he doesn't drink, and he and he doesn't, and he's got some sort of insane alcohol tolerance. I think I've only seen him drunk like once, and that was almost ten years ago when we were first going out. It was cute, in my opinion, anyway. Well, Sam, it looks like one of your containers has been compromised. Oh God! No need to panic. So long as you don't drop it, the contents shouldn't sustain any damage. And if the cargo itself is okay, then your eval won't be affected. Just take a little extra care from here on out, and you'll be fine. Good luck. This stupid time fall! I thought I, I should have brought more. Uh, repair sprays. We're almost back, though. Now I want to know what is, what is the difference between mead and beer? Other than I just thought it was like an old-fashioned term for beer from like fantasy novels or you know another era. What do they make it from? Right when you drank the wine, you got wasted. <laughs> Leading to a fun adventure. <laughs> oh, that's fun. Need is just honey. Oh. Ooh, hey, I got a ton of likes for my road or my taking the road or whatever. better not be affected. I ran out of repair spray. So you made it. Looks good as new. My hat's off me. Yay, we got the 
got the legend, legend, legend thing, Amy Jig. Ranking, whatever. Well, take care of yourself. Uh, Atlas was the opposite of a lightweight. He's a. Uh, he never drinks, and yet he's got a crazy, crazy uh, alcohol tolerance. Oh boy. I seem to be on top of the thing. Oh! Oh, well. I guess I'll also recycle the metals. Everything else okay? I might like some of the UK ciders. Maybe. It just depends on the sugar content. I have, what is it called? Fructose malabsorption or something now. So I can't drink like any sugar or honey. It makes me sad. But maybe. That sounds like something I would like. <laughs> Thank you for your contribution. Okay. Oh, well, I guess I'm putting this in the truck, aren't I? Oh, we're gonna do some repair spray, though. Take on orders. Standard orders. I'm going. Ooh, materials delivery of metals, resins, and special alloys. No, come on. I'm looking for ceramics, guys. Oh, wait. No. It's like premium delivery. There we go. Anything else? No, I think I'm good. Hmm, I could take the reverse trike. Or I could take the truck. I was gonna take the truck. Load onto. No, no, no. Load onto the truck. Load everything onto the truck. Now that's carried on the back. I'll load the rest onto the truck after I repair it because it's in horrible condition. Order. Oh, the container. There we go. Rose cider. How does that pronounce? Uh, fabricate equipment. He wanted what was it? A Vog smoke thingamajig. There it is. All right. Make delivery. Deliver requested supplies. There we go. <laughs> the truck, back in my day. Yeah, it probably does talk like that if it can talk. Yay, we gave some guy the smoke emitter thing imaging that he wanted. This truck has seen some rough times. Still not as bad as that truck we had to ditch, though. 
I think it's called Brooks. Well, I'll, I'll be I'll be honest, it doesn't help me too much. It tasted less like apples and more like alcohol, huh? I would imagine. I don't think I've ever had hard cider. I, I you know what I make. The only thing I, I make homemade kombucha, which has a very small amount of alcohol in it. I've never even gotten I don't have much of an alcohol tolerance, like Lasso likes to make fun of me since they have the alcohol tolerance of a kitten. And I have drunk a lot of that homemade kombucha and it has never once gotten me even slightly tipsy. So if it has alcohol in it, I don't even understand. <laughs> what can't you do? Why are there so many abandoned bikes on the road? I think it's just players hoping that another player will pick it up. And, oh, elegant pen. Well, who's that going to? Elder, yeah, I thought so. He has elegant pens. Um, anyways, and they're hoping someone's gonna pick it up and continue with the delivery. Or, sorry, not continue with the delivery. P pick it up, which means they'll get a bunch of likes and then you get your quarter level higher. I can't talk tonight. I would join you and drink fruit punch, although it would have to be very, very bitter fruit punch. <laughs> I right, guys made me want to buy some dry Merlot. It's been well over a year since I've had it. Anyone had sake? Yes! I, I, I tried sake once. It was horrible. Never, ever, ever again. I'm not a big fan of liquor as it is. I thought it was like a Japanese wine that was going to be similar to plum wine. I was wrong. I was so wrong. It was disgusting. Yeah. Oh, the mule's back? They're back in business. The truck's damaged. You don't say. Yeah, they're back in business, aren't they? I bet all their stuff is back, too. Yes, yes, they have. They have returned. Guess what we're gonna be doing? <laughs> I'm so glad you guys came back, Mules. I'm so happy. have flavors. Maybe I would have liked that. Yeah, I, I like I said, I thought it was a wine. <laughs> I thought it was Japanese wine. I thought that I even got slightly drunk off it because after the first sip I was like, oh god no, it's going to kill me. It was just plain, plain sake. Do the deliveries first. Yes, I will, I will do the deliveries first. As easily distracted as I am by building roads. I'm not even sure if I'm gonna have to bother with the mules though because I'm delivering a bunch of ceramics so we might have more ceramics. Hey, how's it going? The legend does it again. Everything looks to be in perfect condition. Thank you, Sam. Alrighty, we have more ceramics. Yes, we're gonna have a thousand. That's all we needed. Oh, 
I'm an owl elite transporter. The dogged perseverance you have shown time and time again has earned the admiration of clients everywhere. I can now carry more cargo. Well, that's nice. Until the next delivery, then. Stay safe. Good work. New order. And, well, we could do the engineer stuff. Resins and special alloys to the craftsmen. Well, actually, I also wanted to grab the ceramics. I don't know if we could. Hmm. Powerful sleeping tablets. I probably have to do one to him, too. Select premium delivery for all of them, yes. But I also wanted to grab ceramics. We have the bola gun. Alright. Load it into the truck. That'll carry on my back. Order assigned. <laughs> I'm right there with you, Shane. My body spills vodka like the poison it is. I used to drink vodka when I was much younger. <laughs> like, too young to drink, but yeah. Um, no. Claim materials. I just want to claim ceramics. Ah, oh, really? Alright, we don't have enough. I'd have to, like, drain it of all ceramics. Alright, we'll go harass the mules for ceramics. You haven't drank in 25 years, Bender? <laughs> and yet your name is Bender. Hello? <laughs> Good point. No peeing. I love the no peeing signs. I actually know a place that would have been a nice thing to have. Maybe people would stop peeing and the whole area would stop smelling like. Oh, yeah, there wasn't a pizza delivery, was there? Destination The Craftsman, Elder. What's that? Weather Station? What are we going there for? Oh, we just have more orders. Engineer. Okay. Go, truck. Why are you, like, stopped? It's rain, it's ceramics, not metals. Oh no, the mules. Come on. Whatever will I do on my lovely highway? Oh, that's the engineer. Bender from Futurama. I know that Ben. I love Futurama. I used to watch it a lot when I was still younger and had cable. Although I'm sure it's so streamable now. Okay, are you done, Engineer? Are you at five stars yet? Oh, hey. Good to see you. Well, the cargo's in great condition. <laughs> Blue's a bad driver. Yes, I am. And if that uh, Rick and Morty question was directed at me, Madison, I... Oh, yes. Facilities can... We have more cow bandwidth. Um, And we can rest in this shelter and more materials. Anyways, I, I, I've i never actually watched Rick and Morty. So I have no opinion. I am now a master transporter. None can deny your indomitable strength of will. 
And we have now reached cargo condition gate 20. It will now be hard if you lose consciousness. That is nice. That will come in night handy with the mules. Here. I've been meaning to give this to you. I hope you can find a use for it. Right, what is it? Oh, it's a star. Oh, cool. We made it five stars. We now well, have a star. Well, be safe out there. Good work. I feel like maybe I can just claim materials from here. What do you have in the way of ceramics? Yes. Oh, look at all this ceramics he's got. I need a thousand and what? I don't know. Yes. Load it into the truck. What? Arg. Probably not gonna let me use the truck now, is it? think about that stupid rule. Well, let's recycle the floating carrier, because that's weight we don't need. Come on. Thank you Let me into the truck now. Recycle all those beautiful ceramics. Let me bring them. Uh, I took them out, now I'm putting them back in. Has anyone seen what do we what we do in the shadows? No, I have not seen that. Thank you for your What's it about? Okay, well, at least I got to take some of my Hi, it's a fun. Welcome to Death Stranding. Until next time. Weapons restrictions lifted. Got vampires that have a film crew fire, uh, following them. Well, it definitely sounds unique. <laughs>
fight werewolves on the Book of Circuit City. <laughs> Of resins and alloy. Of alloy. Of alloy. Because of alloy. I know. Ah, it's you. How's it going? Wow. During all this, couldn't have been easy. Hey, John. Welcome to the Death Stranding stream. Ooh. What did we get? Ceramics out. We don't have like, anything in ceramics. Oh, though we now have five stars here. And we can rest here. And we. Wow! Okay, we have plenty of ceramics here. We're gonna grab. We're gonna steal ceramics from here. And bring them. We don't even have to bother with the meals. Just so you know, I've put something aside for you. Maybe you could use it more than me. Go ahead and grab it whenever. More hematic grenades, I'm assuming? Oh, or the, the star. We got another star. We still have to go and five star the inner area. Seeing you in action gives me hope. Keep it up, Sam. Good work. New order available. New order, huh? We are going to the Elder, but that's a big thing. This is recovery of famous writer's fountain pens. We can do that. And that's repair materials. We can do some fountain pens. Oh, wait. And deliver one piece of cargo with less than 8% damage. I think we can manage. I don't need that. I do want to claim materials, though. I'm going to take the thematic grenades, and then... Order assigned. So I should tell you now, the autopavia, which are not connected to the chiral network, take more materials to complete. Uh, I want to say I know, but I don't know. Maybe you're trying to get to something different. Um, okay, wait. How many ceramics do we have? Uh, whatever. Whoa. Can we carry this much? Right, we have, let's see, we have 800... Hollow Intergram Hollow Intergrams remind you of Mass Effect. They do? What do you think? Oh, you're talking about like a what is their name? Avena? It's a virtual guide that I like never talk to. Oh god. I found a uh, he has so many songs. If I've like run around the Normandy and gotten all of the songs restrictions from the various times. I think my favorite or most hilarious is he tried to sing Amazing Grace. No, stick to patter songs. Alright, oh look, we're going that way. I mean 
means if you go to Mountain Knot Auto Paver to build a road, it would cost way more than that of a region in the network. Huh. Ah. Oh, you're saying because it's not- oh, I see. You're saying it's not because it's not network yet. I haven't hooked up the chiral network. And Buttfed has your favorite animated show. I there's another show I've never seen. So I, it, it sounds like uh, something I would have liked. It's a shame I couldn't do Mass Effect Legendary Edition streaming it. I believe it or not, I probably wouldn't. I I I love Mass Effect. But as much as I love Mass Effect, it's one of those. I think it's a game that I like to play on my own versus what I like to stream. Those are two very different games, I found that out. <laughs> two-wheel challenge, all right, all right. I know, I promised you a two-wheel challenge thing. Oh, they're still making Beavis and Butthead? Huh, what do you know? Okay, let's see. We're just gonna add tons of ceramics. Oh, wait, what? Oh, well, let's... I don't have to go over either way. Whatever. Oh, is that your first time playing Mass Effect? Is this a fun? Or it's fun? Yes! Auto paver road! the next road and go put the rest of our crap in there. Oh, okay. So since it wasn't connected to the network, it took a lot more materials. Alright. Thank you, Khan. That's good to know. I think I hooked this next one up though, right? So it should be connected. We are on the power network here. Yeah. So I can see the structures. Huh. Well, I will keep that in mind in the future. Oh, crap. I need to deliver the rest of these materials. It got progressively easier to the suicide mission than the 3-tub, yeah. Ah, uh, I gotta do a brutal playthrough for the sake of, uh, science. <laughs> I haven't done a playthrough where basically everyone dies, so... It's gonna happen. I don't know, I don't think I could ever kill Garrus. It's just, like, against my religion. Yay! Alright, whatever. Now do you want me three now? Yeah, I need to- I, I have some- I've been, I actually have been playing ME3, but I've been playing Mass Effect, I've been playing the first two games. <laughs> They're my favorite. Anyway, I love ME3, but I have, uh, ah, a Mass Effect multiplayer controller mod that conflicts with single player. So I'd have to uninstall that and stop playing, uh, I'd have to uh, uninstall it and stop playing, what was that? Multiplayer, which would make me sad because I'm like obsessed. With oh, there's my bike. Well, whatever. <laughs> yeah, I would run after making that statement, General. That's a that's a good call. Which 
charge up my battery. Yeah, I don't know. I'm thinking about doing a playthrough with Callie Dead. I did it once before her. I just don't remember it very well. Anybody hear me? But yeah, let's see. I, uh, let's see. So I know Samara's gonna be dead. I, like, screwed up her loyalty quest. Yay, whatever. Oh, you know what, Shane? Have you ever done a Renegade pay playthrough? Like, you can, you can get the full Renegade bar without being too evil. It's amazing. And it's freaking hilarious. Like, I encourage everyone now. You gotta, you gotta do it at least once. It's now my favorite way to play. Like, you can even talk Rex down. Oh, crap. I got way too much stuff. On Vermeer. And get Renegade points from it, for it. Okay, well, we're gonna have to figure out. I'll just drive up there to the... Okay. We're gonna drive up to the elder, hopefully with the crap, because I have too much crap. That's gonna be interesting. Wait, I don't have a delivery with it, right? Did I grab a delivery? No. What is this? Oh, I forgot a stupid pen. Ah, crap, let's go get the pen. Did I headbutt grunt? I didn't let me headbutt grunt, but I always headbutt. Oh, it's so hard. I did a to not do it, but I headbutt that Kurgan on Tachanka every time. I've never left David behind either, and I had a full Renegade bar. I highly encourage doing the Renegade thing just so you get that, like, ME1 mission. Like, I didn't sacrifice Pharos. I did kill the Rachni Queen, which doesn't matter. You get the same quest in the third game anyway. And what else did I do? Uh, a lot of things. Oh yeah, because the renegade lines are freaking hilarious. I mean, like, I think my favorite line in the whole Mass Effect universe is Shepard on that listening post planet or whatever, that mission. And they step out of the Mako and they're like, I'm pissed. And when I'm pissed, I shoot things. Find me more bugs. I just crack up every time. It's too funny. Oh great, the battery's running out. Well, we're gonna grab a new truck. All right, hi, mules. I'm sure you're here to screw up my truck. I've got a bullet gun. Oh, go, 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 go. He's only on his feet. to do that. Why haven't I done that? Uh, less cargo. Yeah, there's a power skeleton. More metals. So we'll grab that stuff. 
Yeah, that reporter is just so, I don't know, unimportant. I guess the word is. Yay, high density stuff. Oh, well, that's great. I can't carry more. Ooh, there's that memory chip. I can do that. It's still pinging my cargo, I see. Oh, I need to get another truck. Let's go do that. next time guys. I'm gonna punch her from the start and then I will punch her all the way through. I have I, I'm actually doing I'm still doing my uh my uh Femship Jack playthrough which is Paragon but I I need to have my Renegon with Garrus playthrough of course because you know it's Garrus. I need to have one more Garrus playthrough before I Holy... Ah, Garrus out. Alright, here we go. Hey! Get over here! Alright, did I kill him? Or just knock him out? Yeah, I just knocked him out. Yeah, a punch from a re resurrected shepherd who's basically a super soldier, right? Because... Uh, what's his face? Kirihe kind of alludes to that in the first game. So I've always. I never really believed they could survive it, but you never know. It sounds like fun. Like, come on. Where's the other truck? Well, I guess we're offloading it, and then I'm gonna do that? That seems messy. Oh, see, now it lets me. Oh, okay. Load into truck two. Carried on back. No. Truck two. The shiny truck. Is there anything left on the other truck? Looks empty. Good. I mean, there's always a possibility, I suppose, that they've got, like, you know, some sort of metal in their head in the resurrection, which would make sense. <clears throat> Headbutting that Krogan is too easy. You can also charm or intimidate the Krogan, though. Not half as satisfying, but interesting. Ooh, high density metals. I'm gonna get that.
all species are reapers, FYI. Well, yeah, they harvest them. They harvest the organics and then, like, melt them down and turn them into reapers. Too. They're always get me in the DLC. It's always the freaking banshees because they, you know, I, in the DLC, in the multiplayer, they sneak up on you. Them and the phantoms. Beginning scan. Scanning the bridges. ID. Verifying ID. Batteries on the stairs. The weapons keep on keeping up. Recontaminating traps. Battery low. Yeah, you hope the aliens are as big as they're supposed to be in the lore. Yeah. I know, you see, see it sometime in cutscenes, like, you'll see how enormous Garrus is, or, I mean, Grunt was huge. You saw that in the cutscene. They don't actually show you that. Okay, um... What was I doing? I was fabricating some PCC. more the ear bursting screens and the teleporting you hate. Yeah. I, they're not scary. I mean, there's nothing's really scary in the single player of Mass Effect. It, it's even on insanity. Like, I don't know why it's so easy. It drives me nuts. But in the freaking multiplayer, those things are the bane of my existence because they one-shot you and then you're out of the fight entirely. So you gotta be careful where they are, them and the phantoms at all times. They will take you out for the entire wave, and then you get to just sit there. Alright, so we're gonna have to find another way. We're gonna go around the Elder. I'm gonna have to bring the truck up, because I've got way too much car cargo. Over here! Over I'm here. trying to like the generator. Oh, there's someone with the bike. I also think if, like, you have a bike, like, you notice that when people are talking, it's the, that the voice is coming from the bike. I'm thinking that even if you don't abandon the bike, sometimes it lets you take it. Do it, track. Oh god, I'm getting worried. gonna be okay. Should have brought more PCC. Well, here's a mule encampment. We can always go and grab their PCC. Let's see. Oh, come on. There we 
we go. Madison, he should be able to take one of their shocky things. Ooh, container, PCC. We're bringing two pieces now. Oh yeah, I just unlocked the widow, so that's been exciting. I only been using her using it on my Corian though. Ah. Oh, not a battery. Okay, lesson learned, never bring stupid two minute uh, the truck to the elder again cuz it is consumed battery. Nice forget about that. Get off the highways is a nightmare. Not anymore. I got rid of it. I grabbed it. I was saying one of those carriers. Alright, hopefully I can actually get up this mountain. So I'm not going to regret my decisions. Oh god. I cannot do that. 
Now you see why I used to practice before I recorded. <laughs> Alright. Come on, Sam. We can do it. Have faith. We can get up there. Or not. one of those carriers. I've got too much cargo to carry by on my back. I know the stupid battery is running out. Oh, I didn't have to build it. Oh. Okay. Where are they? I'm here to murder you. directly behind me. Guns. Nah, I'll we'll grab a bullet gun. Damn it, I know they have one. I saw it. Guys, just leave me alone. I'm gonna roll you down with the truck. No, we're not gonna. Leave you. There you go. Goodbye, you. Oh crap. Oh crap, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out. Bad place to be. Oh, they got me. Oh, and I damaged something. Oh, well. Alright, bad things are happening. I did not prepare. They got me. Well, that was embarrassing. I got overly ambitious with my deliveries. Try to bring the truck up there, and now all my crap has been stolen. I'm going to murder them all. Oh, they're gonna suffer for that. There's all my stuff. There's my stuff. I have my bola gun. That's it. Let me take my shoes. My medals. Alright, we'll be back for this. Back for this. I have PCC. What? My bola gun? I took my other bola gun too? Alright. Oh, well. They're gonna suffer for that. And hopefully I get to pick that stuff up again. Because if not, I will be very upset. <laughs> but the delivery takes precedence. And they are going to pay. Yeah, that's true. Sam can't die. He is immortal. All right, Mules, I hope you're ready to pay pain. <clears throat> or they're not gonna find me. I'm just gonna come back and get my stuff. If, and if they have what I need in this post box. Okay, it's all my stuff. God damn it. All right, I have to come back for that. I saw it, one of their post boxes have what I need. Oh, it's that post box. 
I do need a motorcycle, but if, well, if you see one around here, let me know, because I would gladly take that. But I kind of need the truck because now I have too much stuff, and a motorcycle alone won't handle it. I'm back, bitches. <laughs> That is what I have needed. Ah, this doesn't have a bullet gun for me. Well, that's sad. Uh, ah, well, I only have the one bullet gun. Well, where's the truck? I need the truck. Perfect, man. Is he getting in it? He's gonna regret that. There we go. Now we're back in business. Let's go get the rest of our crap. Oh, I want to mow you down. Can't just not. Oh, well, that was stupid of me. Oh my god. Okay, I'm never allowed to get out of here. <laughs> well, now I gotta wait. Hey, did it take my. It, it, it better not have. Oh, there it is. There's my cargo thing. <laughs> you post something on the desk or any tail on Discord, I will check it out. And if last year's season told you only 72% say he's used to my insanity. I doubt he'll find it insane. Especially, particularly my Mass Effect obsession. Alright. Oh god. Get this thing and then go. I need to get my cargo, guys. Drink my monster drink. And my stam is fine. It's the. Uh, I think, or maybe it's not. Oh, I do. Yeah, I probably need it. I'll get this drink going. Oh, it's a damage. It's 6% damage. Hopefully that's okay. okay. What else is in this post box? I guess we'll put the ceramics in the truck. Uh, container repair spray on my back. I think that's all my car. Now we'll get into the thing. Okay, off we go. Ooh. Bullet gun was there the whole time. I thought they took it. Oh, well. I had enough in that one bullet gun. 
And let's see, we're going to out in the truck. I gotta offload my floating carrier. And then we're gonna grab all the stuff in the truck, load it onto that, and then climb our way up like civilized people. There we go. Alright, well, we'll have to get that stuff when we get back. I'll grab the climbing. <clears throat> Okay, okay. All right, Elder. I really hope you appreciate this. I kind of want some help. Drink, didn't drink. <laughs> I do have junk in that trunk. Cargo trunk. Like this one's for you. Sounded wrong when I said it though. What? Uh, the wire snapped. Uh, are you kidding me? Okay, is there another way up? This is so not cool. Not cool. Rising. <laughs> I will deliver this cargo. If it kills me, I'm delivering it. Alright, this is the way up. We found it. We made it. We made it up. Mountain Sam, you are not getting out of this one. Whew. I'm gonna go reclaim all my other crap. I haven't watched them in so many years. So many good cartoon shows I want to watch. Instead I'm watching Better Call Saul again. It's been a while since I saw it and they apparently have a new season. Out. Alright, let us deliver all the cargo. I better get a good rank for this. I might not though, I, I messed it up. Surprised to see me, son? Don't worry, I'm not dead yet. Let's see now how much you got. <laughs> this is a veritable mountain of cargo. Yes! We got our S rank, guys. And we got it again. And we have maxed this place out. Well, now he's probably gonna die, isn't he? Is there a trophy for g keeping him alive to the end of the game? I'm curious now. Here. I have something for you. It isn't much, but if you want it, it's all yours. Another star! Does he give me a star? Yep. Look at that star. You've kept me alive for a little while longer, Sam. I owe you one. Good work. New order available. Please access delivery terminal for further information. I'm... Uh, let's see. Is 
clear an order I might actually take on. Fragile, highly, no, we're not going there. Not going there, not going there. We are going there, but I don't wanna. Well, that, well that's on the highway, so. Not Rest is All right, well, if there's no trophy for keeping him alive, poor guy's gonna die. I'm done coming out here. We'll come up here to see the BT. Maybe it'll haunt us. Our guilty conscience. For abandoning him. Okay, I guess you don't want to jump down that. He's like, what are you making me do? Aaron. You might not be. We'll see. We'll have to see. Whoa. Alright, down we go. What is this sign? I don't even know. Okay. We're gonna drop the rest of this stuff off. Do some reading. Oh my god! What the hell? them down. Wait. Why is... Why can't I... Arg! Arg! Oh my god, I want that... Surprising. Oh, now I have my bullet gun. Wherever that went during the fight when I, that I needed it for. Okay. Smoke grenade, climbing anchor, ceramics. Give me the ceramics. Very least, we'll have lots of ceramics. I think they brought us more. Ooh. Metals. Let's get. Well, I think I got everything. I didn't forgot about the guys on the other side of the truck. Yep. Put that out. Good. Well, problem solved. with the truck. 
track. We might as well enjoy it while we can. kicking mules around. So I'm sure you guys know that by now. Uh, favorite part of the game. Alright. Oh, they still have more of my stuff over there. Yeah, see they took my stuff. Ceramics, metals. We're gonna go get more stuff. And then... I promise, last one, at least for a while, we'll do more orders in the next video. Ooh, bow again. Let's run into more mules. Oh, well, there were not. Our current run. Yeah, they're all gone now. They've all been annihilated. Okay, that's probably all I can carry. I might grab some. Oh, we'll see if we can stuff it in there. I doubt it. Can you let me do it? Can I get to the truck? Let me put it in the truck. Oh, it is! It's gonna let me do it! It's gonna let me carry all of this. Well, now I'm gonna get- okay. I'm so tempted to get more. I am. We finish these roads. It's like it's right there. I got it all on me. What? It's like it realized. I should've just gone. Alright, well, it's let me- Bring it. All right, let's go. Right on. All right, we'll see you soon. It's all right. And to the last one, then we'll get the reading done. Last auto paper. Well, not the last auto paper. There's many, many. I endeavor to make the roads safe. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh,
are here to fulfill your wishes. Arg! Oh, I still owe you some wheelies. I'll have to do that next time. <laughs> I didn't realize they're getting so late. Uh, let's put everything. Dump it all in. Ah! Oh, we made it to the top. All right, whatever. I'm just calling. Um, metals. Oh wait, I'm taking. No, I'm not taking them out. I must put them in. I thought we were putting metals in. Ah, crap. We almost had enough. We needed more metals for once. For once, we needed more metals. Oh well. Alright, I'm gonna need you guys to remind me to do wheelies next time. No oh, way, but I took too long. I don't know. I don't know where the my bike is. I abandoned it somewhere. I think it's around here actually. I probably have to get rid of it. That'll be nice to have a road through there. That's gonna be hard to drive otherwise. Yep, there's my bike, and it's all broken. Get you later. We are at the tail end. It is a poor bike. It has died a rusty, painful death, I'm sure. to deliver? Huh? Alright. I don't know why this deliverable. Oh, I guess I picked up someone's lost cargo at some point. I didn't even remember. <laughs> uh, it was probably their last PC. Uh, yeah, equipment and stuff. Okay, let us recycle all the ceramics because I'm not going to need them for a bit. Bullet gun. Welcome back, Victoria. You missed, um, <laughs> not much. you depositing more materials at the next auto paver. One day, all the beautiful highways will be rebuilt. Thank you for your contribution. Your work is great. Up, Sam. It's time to read. Okay. Let's see. From the engineer, it could be paint a B. If I could paint a BT's picture, I may be an engineer by trade, but I'm not half bad at painting either. You know, with pens and brushes and all that. Learned it all from my mother. With the right tools and enough time, I can faithfully recreate what I see on paper, or whatever elaborate vistas I can envision with my mind's eye, which got me thinking, what if I made a picture of a BT? I believe what makes them so terrifying is that we don't know what they look like, so if someone with dooms like you could describe what you saw, 
I could give your words shape and color, and maybe we'd be a little less afraid. It might even be enough to coax a few shut-ins outside for a bit. But even if we can't change them, I know you've changed me. Thanks for everything, Sam. Don't be a stranger. Alex Weatherstone, weather station upgrade. You know, I'm not even technically part of the core staff. I'm medical. I was posted here to keep an eye on our skeleton crew, make sure their heads stayed on right, and somewhere along the line, I got roped into processing deliveries too. Anyway, before we became part of the chiral network, this place was a weather station in name alone. We were collecting meteorological data, but only over a pathetically small area and we weren't able to share it with anyone. Prior to the stranding, they had countless weather satellites circling the whole planet, watching every move the clouds made, measuring every twist and turn of the wind. With that much data, it was easy to create forecasts, but things are different for us. We don't have a top-down view of the whole picture, but the Cupid and the network have provided us with the next best thing. Now that we can collate data from all over, we can generate more comprehensive models, which give us a much better chance of accurately tracking fluctuations in chiral density. And not only that, we can send weather reports to every city, prepper, shelter, and bridges facility on the network. Now we really are going, or we really are doing something useful. We owe you big time, Sam. And let's see, from Thomas Sutherland. You're an inspiration. Sam, I owe you an apology. In my last email, I made it sound like you were on the fast track to becoming obsolete. Guess I was caught up in my excitement over that delivery bot. Maybe I didn't let it show so much, but I was glad to find you on our doorstop again. Seriously, sure the bots are useful and less risky, but that doesn't mean we don't still need you guys like you. If anything, we need you more now more than ever. You're a symbol, an inspiration. When people see you risking your neck for the rest, they have something to aspire to. I'm not saying that everybody should charge off into the wilderness, of course, but I think you're a great example of how we can work towards a better future. People need that. Hell, I need that. From the Craftsman, Porter is coming through again. Hey Sam, remember that Porter I told you about? He came round again. Been my, by my old place, the one in the ruins, you know? As to why, well, seems he'd gone and snatched up some of my belongings. A musty set of work clothes I let slip I was pining for at our last meet. Wasn't a proper ask or anything, more a be nice if I had them sort of thing. So I said it, and next thing I knew, he up and says he'll bring them back. I told him no, ain't nothing worth the hassle, no need to try to be another Sam, but he went and did it anyway. Came back, goods in hand, safe and sound. He's not alone though. Said he'd form, said he'd form a team, he, he had formed a team with another porter, one to keep watch for BTs, another to manage the cargo. Neither of them's got dooms, but together they can almost manage well as you. At least they did this time, eh? It's amazing what people can do when they put their minds to it, and when someone like you is around to provide inspiration. Alright, data, interviews. Oh, let's go, huh. Uh, Cairo Clouds and Timefall. From Hartman two years ago. Why do Cairo Clouds form? Why does Timefall occur? And why does it herald the manifestation of BTs? These are questions we still struggle to answer. As we now know, BTs are being formed of something akin to antimatter. Their first appearance coincided with the Death Stranding. Prior to that point, it is believed that there was very little in the way of antimatter present in our world at all. But we've since learned that this was far from the case, for even before the Death Stranding, antimatter was all around us. I discovered a scientific paper on the subject titled On Antimatter and Clouds. According to the paper, the gamma radiation generated by lightning strikes can trigger the formation of positrons. And indeed, particles of antimatter can be detected inside regular rain clouds. The mechanism by which they are formed is not yet fully understood. But the mere existence of this phenomenon is enough to suggest something intriguing. Chiral clouds contain chirelium, yes? Well, what would happen if gamma radiation were to act upon them in the same way as it does in regular clouds? Could, chiral, could chirelium, excited by gamma radiation, exacerbate, exacerbate minute distortions in space-time 
somehow loosening the seams that connect us to our beaches. And if so, when the excited Corellium mixes with timefall and descends to the ground below, could the entire region beneath the clouds become much more strongly connected with the beach as a result? This would explain why BTs appear in areas prone to timefall. Furthermore, if the antimatter we previously thought did not even exist on in any measurable quantity on Earth were in fact present in such commonplace phenomena as the very clouds above us, would this not lend credence to the theory that BTs, beaches, the world of the dead, all of these things may have existed long before the stranding? Too much of a theoretical leap? Perhaps. I do not deny our world changed, drastically and irrevocably. Nevertheless, could it not be that the Death Stranding was merely the clap of thunder that brought this great change to our attention, and not the change itself? Hmm. Interesting. And... is that it? Oh, prepper shelters. And a bunch of journal entries. Back before the stranding, there was all kinds of companies selling all kinds of shelters. Hurricane-proof, earthquake-proof, disease-proof, war-proof, terror-proof. Probably had a recession-proof model, for all I know. Anyway, you could picture it all going to hell. They had a shelter for it, and the guys building them? Military types, astronautical engineers, amateur enthusiasts. Everybody and his uncle was out to make a buck, but if you wanted something that that it actually lasts, you had yourself three solid choices. First, there's your American Survival Shelters units. They were a global military hardware supplier, used to build big government bunkers, nuclear shelters, all that. They started selling to the general consumer right before the stranding. Damn good timing, huh? Anyway, those babies were the creme de la creme. Next, you had your Millennium Preppers. They made it big right after a string of terror attacks. Started out selling bank vaults and reinforced containers and the like. Wasn't hard for them to break into the shelter game. And they knew how to build them tough. Then here's your domestic guys. World safety housing. All about affordability they were. Cheap and cheerful. Well, as cheerful as anyone could be after the stranding. Still, they did a lot of good for a lot of folks after things went to shit. And that was from, by the Elder two years ago. And let's see. A No Man's Journal. Entry 1. Writing year unknown. Today I made a delivery to a shelter near Middle Knot City. It was my longest trip to date, a new personal best. Back when I was starting out, people tired tried to warn me off the life, saying it was dangerous for prepper youngins to make runs, and that no one would ever really trust me. But what was I supposed to do? Kids without parents need to eat too, and it's not like I had any skills. Two arms, two legs, whole lot of grit, that's all I had to offer. Worked out okay, so far. I bring people what they need, and in return, they do right by me. The more deliveries I make, the more orders I get. Never a porter around when you need one, so long as you don't fuck up too badly. Someone's ought to throw you a bone. Helps that I've got a sixth sense for BTs, too. Pretty rare, that. It's probably one of the reasons why I get so much work. Sometimes people praise me. Tell me I'm doing society a service by helping my fellow man. Can't say that factors into it. I'd sooner keep to myself if I could, but I've got to survive somehow. And I sure as hell ain't gonna manage by myself. Entry 2. Another preppers kicked the bucket. I went to deliver his medicine as usual this morning, but I guess I was pretty damn late. Poor guy wasn't just dead, but on the verge of going necro. Wasn't no time to take him to an incinerator, so I had to dump him in nearby BT territory. Better than leaving him to pop, especially since my own shelter is close by. Gotta look out for number one. When I dumped him, though, just before he popped, it was like I could feel the BTs reacting to the corpse. Saw the beach, too. Strangest thing. But I'd felt it before, when I'd first deposed, disposed of someone. The sensation was stronger this time, though no doubt about it. Don't know if this means I've got dooms, but I'm starting to think there's something special about me. A delivery outfit out west heard tell of my BT sensing abilities and has expressed an interest in bringing me on board. Seems they operate outside Bridges' sphere of influence and they want to leverage my experience and know-how to expand their operation. Could be interesting. It's funny, I started making runs out of necessity to stay alive, but that's all changed. I'm an altruist now. I live to help other people. 
preppers around these parts rely on me. Hell, they wouldn't last five minutes without me. What would my daddy say if he could see me now, hmm? He taught me man's his own keeper, but here I am, part of a community, working with other people, bringing the world together. Daddy always told me that the wide world was dangerous, that we had to stay in our shelter, spend our whole lives there, die there. Well, fuck that. Community is, what's, community is what it's all about. Entry 4. Buddy of mine died today. He was out in the mountains on a delivery, and it was so goddamn foggy, I guess he lost sight of the trail. He called me, asking for help, but then the line went dead. I saw a void out from here. Nearly blinded me. Guess he wandered into BT territory. There's not many of us porters left these days. Not many you could trust to get the job done, anyway. Folks quitting or dying, going mule, attrition's a bitch. If we're to keep on, we're gonna need better equipment. And someone else who can track BTs. I can still manage sometimes, but my power is getting weaker. I can feel it. I just wish I knew what to do. Because at this rate, I'm fucked. We all are. Alright, next is the memory trips. We have Christine. This 1983 horror classic by visionary genius John Carpenter. Christine, a sentient car, embarks on a murderous spree in order to wreak revenge on the humans who wronged her. The movie was based on a novel of the same name by Stephen King, an author widely considered to be the master of modern horror. Carpenter, meanwhile, earned acclaim for birthing a whole new and wildly popular type of boogeyman based on scary movie. Boogeyman based scary movie with his breakthrough hit Halloween. Without John Carpenter, there never would have been a Jason, a Freddy, or a Chucky. Eggshell carving. Eggs are fragile things. Drop one and it will break in an instant. Eggshell carvings are delicate etchings made on the brittle surfaces of their shells. These carvings originated in ancient China. And their depictions of flowers and birds are believed to have been intended to celebrate births and weddings at which they were given as gifts. To symbolize the fleeting fragility of life and the delicate miracle of birth. And even a legendary porter would need to exercise great care when carrying one. Uh, Honda. A mass-produced motorcycle based on the Honda NSR 250. A racing motorbike which won four straight manufacturer championships from 1985 onward. And found success in motorsports even events both inside and outside Japan. Japanese manufacturers began moving away from two-stroke engines in the late 1990s due to the introduction of emissions regulations, which meant that production of the NSR 250R ceased in 1999. In the world of Death Stranding, all motors are electrical. Uh, now, while I haven't unchecked that unidentified data, oh, here we go, Fame Arms Genbu. Thanks to the discovery of tea crystals, which seems like they might provide the solution to the Earth's energy crisis, a power source known as the EU system was developed. Project ReSphere arose as a response to the wide-scale adoption of this power source and the resulting overpopulation, and was largely enabled by the development of the frame architecture robotic skeleton. The Genbu model is large, heavily armored mechanoid created by designer Yoji Shin Shinkawa. Uh, oh, an unknown man's confessions of a certain someone. Access the interview the menu to learn more. Okay, we'd have. We read this one? Yeah. Alright, the only one we haven't read is this unidentified data. We don't have it yet, so. That's everything for reading. We're gonna have some fun with Toby, go back up, and then save. Alright, what's this action? Oh, Toby liked that one, alright. All right, kiddo. We're just about done. Oh, what's up there? I can examine equipment rack. Oh, let's change the color scheme, huh? I actually kind of like this color, though. Oh. Red's the 
red sunglasses. That won't stand out at all. Can we check the game percentage? Probably. You might have to tell me how to do that. We are 53... 57% through... Blech. Death Stranding. At least chapter 8. Hopefully you won't have a nightmare of murder cats. Complete... Oh, this is our progress. Is this show? This is... Uh, yeah, this is episode 3. I don't think it's showing us the whole game. If that- I don't think that- I don't know. I can always ask Blaster. How do I show the whole game percentage? Alright, I got two things I gotta do. I gotta trade with quarters. Wheelies on the motorcycle. <laughs> Sorry about the mess. I got caught in the rain. Oops. Didn't mean to give you a shower. I tried waiting it out, but when I checked the time. I'm sorry. Should have come sooner. I'm almost positive about it. Alright, thank you all, and I will see you next time.